Hey guys, it's Ron from Back at You one more again. I hope everybody is doing good today on this fantastic Friday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. Today, this is about my intro. It's not really a Twin Flame 101 or anything like that. This is just an intro video because I know my last one is when I first started. And today I'm listening to Pharrell Williams Happy because that's how I'm feeling today. I just want to jump up in the air just like, yay! <laughs> because I just wake up and just feel the love from all over the world. And you guys drop comments to me. And that really warmed my heart to let me know that you guys enjoyed the videos. You enjoyed what I had to say. You know, basically, my channel is about me telling, opening up to the world. It took a lot of courage to do. To tell everybody, I'm Prince Roger Nelson's daughter. Um, I was adopted back in 1977. My birthday is May 19th. Come find out it's the same day as my Aunt Tika Nelson's birthday. And um, I didn't find out the whole truth until after he died, which was very, very, very tragic. And I thought I was about to lose my mind. So I always prayed and asked God, what? how do I get over this? How do I deal with this? You know, what do I do? And they just told me, why don't you start making videos? So I started making video diaries. And then it turned out, you know, I always worked on YouTube, you know, watch YouTube all the time. And so, um, I was just like, you know what, you know, why don't you just go ahead and make videos and put them on YouTube? And so ever since then, it was like a process. I went in and found out all these mystical hats about myself. Um, and I'm not I'm trying to sit up here and say this is a mystical hat, but I love this hat too. I was going to make an outro video outside, but I couldn't do it because it's like the weather was nasty. So, you know, I couldn't, you know, the weather wasn't permitting me to do that today. So I went ahead. So hopefully you guys can hear me. And it is very clear and you can see me. Um... So it's just like basically finding all these things out, it, it really humbled me and it really brought things to light for me and it's just like opening up and telling this. It took a lot of courage for me to do, but it helped me heal. I always, since a little girl, I always want to be able to save the world. I always want to be able to help people. You know, um, I go out on, you know, my, my social media on Facebook and I see people that are sad and stuff like that. And I always want to put a smile on my on their face because with me being an indigo empath, Hayoka empath, twin flame, we have to deal with so many freaking emotions on top of ours. It's just everybody else's that gotta deal with. So it's just like me being super save or something, super save the happy, super save the earth. So it's just like for me to be able to do that, I had to make these videos and going through day-to-day -day life, finding out different things about myself I didn't know. Learning about yourself and growing about growing about it is very important to me. And, I mean, I really felt good on doing that and making all these different videos. And a lot of people say I inspired them. And, I mean, that really touched the bottom of my heart, you guys. Thank you so much. And I'm trying not to cry because I'm a very emotional person. My emotions have just been going all over the place, but it's good emotion. So, it, it's just... Listening to Pharrell, like this song makes me just want to jump up and down and just like, life is too short. I really try not to take life serious, even though we got to be serious at some times and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it's just life is too short to be miserable and unhappy. And it, it's just like, you have to be happy. And with you seeing these videos, I hope people will be able to resonate with them. They probably have a lot of questions that they wanted to ask. It's just like some people see me on Facebook like, huh? You know, well, they say that Prince doesn't have a daughter. You know, I was born before he got famous. Um, him and my mom were teenage, love high school, high school sweethearts or whatever from what I was told. And um, things didn't happen right uh, like they were supposed to. And the record deal fell through and they were supposed to get married. So the family didn't see fit that I was born out of wedlock. So I was adopted in a different place. And I didn't even know about all these things. But I knew I had some kind of connection with him when I was little. So we stayed in constant contact. But I never knew he was my father. He was always like an Uncle Roger. He was Uncle Roger to me, a family friend. So it's just like a lot of people didn't believe it. And, you know, and I mean, I understand, you know, it's just because he was such a private person. And my dad has made a lot of songs about me. And some of them I resonate with and didn't even know why. Um, 
but it's just like when you see my videos, you will a lot of songs that you know I felt like he put out for me, and people felt like he put out for me. Um, I put in a lot of my videos, and um, it was just a healing process that I had to go through after losing my father, and it's just like. We have death go around us every day, but when it has to come to a celebrity, you really do not heal because it's like I see him all over the place. And sometimes it becomes overwhelming and hard, but the love that people have for him helps me heal a lot. So it's just like a day-by-day -day basis, and it's just like I know I have my time to shine, and it's just like, you know, I can hear him saying, step out into the light, baby. Step out into the light. And so I had to do that, so it, was, it took a lot of courage for me to have to do that on top of healing and it's just like the old the just the outpour of comments that people are saying you're you know you're helping me heal i get emails and stuff like that and some people tell me they help me heal your videos help me your, your videos inspire me you know and that makes me feel really good because i'm like little old me I, you know i didn't know i was doing all this but it really makes me feel good that a lot of people have came out and said that and it, it just lets me know i'm doing my job just to let you know, you know, life is too short. You know, I know we have went through so many tragedies and mishaps in our lives, but do not become a victim of that. Do not let that define you. You can use that gift to be able to tell your story too. So that's all I really have to say. Um, and I hope you guys like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you'll be able to know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I hope you guys, when you come over to my channel, you will enjoy it. And hopefully you'll be able to find something that you can resonate with. So, thank you so much, Yankee. Um, Yankee Outdoor Adventures. I don't, I don't know why I want to say Great Outdoors. I'm thinking about the Chevy Chase movie. But, you know, he's just a hoop to me. Um, and a very good uh, friend of mine. And my friend Norma Brookins, she's helped me out. And my friend Anthony. Taurus also helped me out lately, and I really appreciate all the love that I've been getting out in the world, and it is much appreciated. Um, and I will talk to you later. I, I was just trying not to be rambling on, so hopefully you guys will be able to understand and then be able to look at my videos and see what I'm about. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.